This presentation is an overview of some of the things that can be done with Jet Express for Microsoft Dynamics Nav. What our intent is in this particular session is to show you some of the sample presentations that you can accomplish with Jet Express. The first thing we'll take a look at in this session is a basic financial statement, which is one of two types of reports that can be done in Jet Express. You can see this is an annual spread for 2011, and there's not much data in here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, re to refresh this report to get data for a year that actually has some sample data in it. You notice when I press refresh, I get report options. In this particular report's case, I need to supply the year that I want the spread for and whether I want the closing entries excluded or not. And in this case, I know there's data in 2010, so I'm going to select 2010 and press Run. And you'll see it takes just a moment to go through and refresh the information. And now we have 12 months of data on the report. Now, if I click on this information, you'll see that I get a little down arrow, which is drilled down. But you'll also notice up here in the formula bar that these are actually numbers in the cells. They are not formulas. So if I click on one of these, and I click drill down up here, or I click the little down arrow that appears beside the number, what I'll get is a pop-up that shows me the journal entries that actually make up that particular number. You can see here that we had three journal entries. They're all for February 2010. We have amounts for those here. We have a variety of other information on the journal entry, just like we might see in the general ledger. Now, there are a number of different things we can do. Let's suppose we had several different document numbers here. We wanted to sort by document number. When we click on the column, it actually sorts by that column. You can see here, this is a descending sort. This is an ascending sort. We also have a drop down here where we can select the items that we want to see. And if we had multiple documents and we wanted to sort this out and subtotal by document, we could actually drag the column up here, in which case it would sort them out individually by the document number in this case. We could also use any of these other fields as items to drag up. And we can drag multiple items up as we wish to. It doesn't make a lot of sense in this particular drill down, but you can see how that might be very useful in drill down. So in future recordings, we'll actually take a look at how these are generated. You can see that there are missing columns and missing rows. Those are actually hidden. And that information is used to generate these spreadsheets, pulling data directly from Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In this case, NAV 2009. This product will also be available with the 2013 release. Let's take a look at another different kind of spread. This is a trial balance, as you can see. And in this case, we have some little filters up here at the top. So if I want to see only income statement accounts, I can click there. And if I want to see only balance sheet accounts, I can click there. And you can see if we scroll down that we get only balance sheet accounts. This query is actually being done in real time off the data that was retrieved out of the general ledger. This is the second major kind of report that can be done, which is a report that actually extracts a table of data from Microsoft Dynamics Nav. You can see here the table structure that has been extracted from Microsoft Dynamic Nav, and this is a pivot table that then analyzes that data and allows me to filter on that data. And in all the cases that we're going to take a look at, this is actually being done, this filtering is actually being done with the standard Excel function of the slicer. 
again in later sessions we'll take a more in-depth look at how to use this to generate your own spreadsheets. We'll close these two that we've already looked at and have a look at some more. This is a trial balance by month. Um, this you can see is a pivot table kind of report with data extracted from Microsoft Dynamics Nav. This is a working capital and current ratio spread that's done by extracting data using the same functions that we would use to build a financial statement and then drawing Excel graphs based on this information. We could also do a KPI, Key Performance Metrics, Key Performance Indicators spreadsheet by extracting data from Dynamics Nav and using standard Excel formatting techniques to produce this kind of a spreadsheet. And again, anytime we want to, want to refresh these, all we have to do is come over and click Refresh and current data will be pulled. And then here's a little more interesting sales dashboard where we've got a great deal of information actually compressed into a very small space. We also have multiple slicers here. So if I want to see only one company or country or region name, all I have to do is click and you'll notice all the graphs readjust as well as the other slicers noticed here. These are the customers that are in Great Britain. Only one customer in Belgium and several customers that have a blank country code. Clear that slicer. We can also go to different years. We can look at different posting groups. And because this is a slicer that's actually working off data, here's the data that was extracted from Dynamics Nav and then summarized into several tables. Because we're actually working off data, we can slice and dice this data by using these finders, or slicers, and by holding down the control key, I can select multiple items out of any of these boxes. This is standard Excel. Notice that I have another screen here where I've done slicers. And we've also done some profit percentage top customer kinds of uh, looking. And we can use the slicers on this page the same way we use them on other pages and clear them out like that. So this is a brief look into some of the samples that are out there of what you can do with Jet Report or Jet Express that is available with the current releases of Microsoft Dynamics Snap. This will work with any release from 2009 forward. So that's 2009, 2009 R2, and 2009 or 2013. 2013, a couple of weeks ago, they were still finalizing, so it should be out uh, with the release of the product. And in future sessions, we will release training on actually how to do different things like this. Hi, if you'd like more information about this product or data guidance group, here's the information you can use to contact me. Please feel free to give me a ring if I can ever be of help.